Hello everyone, it's Amy and welcome back for another video for our journaling on a budget series. I was asked to make simple envelopes without a punch board. So, and they really are not that hard to make. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna start with an eight and a half by 11 um, standard sheet of paper and I am going to just fold it up to the corner here so that we can cut out a square. And the biggest thing is just, you know, try and get your best, get it, you know, folded as close as you can, corner to corner. And then we're just going to cut off the extra piece so that we will have a square that is eight and a half by eight and a half. So we'll just get rid of this little piece for now, save that for something later. And then we are going to open it up and fold it corner to corner this way. And again, just try and get your corners lined up well. And then once you get this done, what you're going to do is just open it up flat. And then we are going to fold in one corner to the center. And then come over here and fold one corner to the center so that now it looks like this. So we have folded these into the center. Now what we're gonna do is we're just going to grab a ruler and we are going to, this is going to be our top lid. And so we are going to write at just below, let's see here. Okay, right where these come together, we're gonna to come down just below this fold. And you can do it however size you want. You know, come down about maybe a uh, maybe a half an inch and the reason that we're going to do that is so that when this folds down this part of your paper actually covers or touches here so because otherwise if we just fold it point to point what's going to happen is it will kind of look like an envelope but this will not overlap and then you won't have anything to glue down so we're going to come down about a half an inch hold your ruler there and you can also use a scoreboard to do this if you have one and then just fold that down. Make sure that it's nice and straight. And then we're gonna come the other way, open this back up and get it out of our way, and do the same thing so that we have something that we can glue to. Just fold that up. We came in about a half an inch. And then make sure that your edges are lined up. And press that down. So now what we're going to do is we are going to, right where our little point sticks up, we're going to fold this back, just kind of where these come together, just to get that point out of our way. You don't want that point sticking out when you're trying to stick something into it. So we're just going to, what I do is I line up the fold line with the fold line here and just fold that back. Now, you can either leave that there and fold it in so that you've got a little added strength, which is what I usually do, or you can just cut that right off. We're gonna open this up, and then what we're going to do is here, where this little triangle is, we're going to cut that out to get it out of our way and get rid of that bulk. Where you have your line, come just inside that line and cut it a bit of an angle to the corner there and not too much just enough so that it it kind of stays out of your way just a little bit or you can cut exactly on that line if you want to so we're going to cut this one out and we are going to come here and cut this one out and again I'm going to go just inside my line and cut to that point of the triangle and just inside my line and cut to the point of that triangle there we go and then I'm going to come up here and do exactly the same thing. So we're going to cut off all four of these little extra corners that would be in our way. Now, on the one, this is going to be our flap. So on that one, I'm going to cut straight down. I'm not going to put an angle on it. Just cut straight down there. And on your very first one that you do this way, cut it very carefully. Get it exactly how you want it. And then what you can do is make yourself a template. So now this is what it looks like. I'm gonna turn it over. So we've got these corners here. This is either cut straight or folded in. 
and then we've got it looks like this now you can round all of your edges if you want to all of your corners but and then all we're going to do is fold in our side flaps take some stick glue and run it along here and and don't forget to run it along this bottom piece here and we're going to do the same thing over here Okay, and I'm going to glue this little triangle down. If I leave it on there, if I cut it off, you don't have to worry about it. And there we go. Now we have this really nice envelope to put a card in. And our envelope, the top sticks down enough so that we overlap. Here is the edge of the inside and then here is the edge of our paper. So we've got this much room so that when we put something in there and we want to glue it down, we can do that. Or you can just glue down the point. That's totally up to you. But this is what it looks like. And then what I do is I just get a cereal box. And this was originally an eight and a half by eight and a half sheet of paper cut just like this one was. And then I just trace it on a cereal box and I write on here, start with eight and a half by eight and a half paper. And then I also write what size envelope it makes. So this, an eight and a half by eight and a half will make an envelope that is four and, a, four and an eighth inches by six and an eighth inches, which is the perfect size to put in a four by six card. So, and then what I do is I just keep these templates around. Now on this one, I did cut off my point. So if you don't want to cut off your point and you want to fold it in like we did here, just leave it and then this would just come to a point and then I would put a dotted line here so I would remember that I'm going to fold that over when I um, do this template. But um, this is, and this was on a cereal box so part of it's got a fold in it. That's okay. It doesn't matter. Just hold it down when you're tracing and then you just take this, stick it on a piece of your paper and then you just go in and just draw a little line here. Grab a pencil because my marker probably won't work. Line it up nice. And then you just go like this. Whoops, I moved it. to come over here and get this little triangle and then what you do is you just cut that out fold it up and you're all ready to go so on a on a six by six you just do the same thing and I had a template for a six by six here here it is here is a six by six piece that was done exactly the same way and when you do a six by six piece of paper you come out with a two and three quarters by four and a quarter um, envelope and so that's perfect size to fit like a two and a half by a four inch card and so that's I do those templates up like that now on a 12 by 12 on a 12 by 12 if you fold it exactly the same way um, then you come up with kind of an odd size envelope so if you want to have one that is big enough to hit to fit a five and three five and three quarters by eight and three quarters this winds up being excuse me five and three quarters by eight and three quarters which is the perfect size to fit a five and a half by eight and a half card and five and a half by eight and a half is a regular sheet of paper eight and a half by eleven folded in half and this is now five and a half by eight and a half so I'm going to show you how to make your envelope big enough for that what you're going to do is you're going to fold it just a little bit short you're going to fold it a quarter of an inch short we took our 12 by 12 paper we folded it in half and we folded it in half to get our middle lines and then what you do is you fold in one quarter of an inch over from the center line so you're going to fold in here see now if we had folded it to the center it would have been like this so we're going to fold it into here and then we're going to come on this side and fold it one quarter of an inch short and that is that's what gives you your eight and three quarters this way so that you can fit your eight and a half inch because if you folded it in it would be eight and a quarter inches it would be just shy 
to fit just a folded in half piece of paper and it's nice kind of to be able to have one that will fit this um, and then again just fold your bottom up and you can fold this in and then you're going to want to make sure that you come down a half an inch so that you can fold this in and then what I did was I had already folded this paper all the way into center and then I cut my corners off the little triangles off um, and then I realized that it was too small to really fit us anything standard so I moved it out so go ahead and do these folds fold this down first and then cut off your little triangle and when you cut off your little triangle this piece won't come off because you'll only have it folded to here so then you won't have the top won't be short like it is on this one it's a little bit short which doesn't hurt a thing and I will still just I can still just use this the way it is but um but if you want it to come out to the edges just make sure you do all your folds before you cut your corners and then take um, a piece of cardboard and trace around it and then you will have a 12 by 12 template so you can do this with any size square and this is just a simple way to do it and the one thing that I do is whenever I'm playing with something I play around with it and I get what I want but before I glue it together if I like it then I make a template because it is so easy and then on the templates I know what size envelope this is going to make so that way I know which template to use for whatever size card I have so and you can always adjust them in a little bit or out a little bit you can adjust them out a lot because you still have to have room you know to glue to but you can you can adjust them out and um, and make them bigger adjust them a little shorter to make them smaller but this is just the simple way that you make an envelope without an envelope punch board I hope that that was clear if you have any questions please just let me know thank you very much for stopping by I really do appreciate it and I hope that you all have an outstanding day. Bye-bye.